Hey guys and gals, welcome to TAB videos. So glad you stopped by. Trying out a new uh, pistol today, the H&K USP Expert. We'll get loaded up and give you a few rounds and then we'll go through a little bit of the, the specs on it. USP, H&K USP Expert, 5.2 inch barrel, it's got a rubber O-ring around the tip of the barrel, universal guide rod, pretty nice stippling front and back, it's kind of a, on the side panels, it's kind of a rubbery feel, 15 round mag mags, it's got a funnel, uh, well, which is, uh, you can take this back part out and put a extended one in for 18 round magazines if you have any of the 18 rounds. That way it'll be a flush fitting. 18 rounds will still work in it, but it'll be hanging down a little bit below this like a lot of your other ones. Safety on it, ambi safety. It's got the paddle, uh, mag release here which you just simply push down with your thumb four pound trigger not a bad shooting gun I've never really been too fond of H&K's personally I think the second uh, one I ever bought was H&K compact USP compact it was a 40 Smith & Wesson and I hated that thing I tried different mags in it and it was a jam o -matic. I, I didn't have it that long. Of course, I was fairly new to the semi-automatic uh, things then, so it could have, part of that could have been me. I'm not blaming all of it on the gun. It's got fully adjustable rear sight, ramp front, no uh, fiber optics or anything like that. Like I said, it's not a bad shooting handgun. It's just I'm not fond of H&Ks, to me they're overpriced, along with a couple other uh, <laughs> brand names. But that's beside the point, that's a different subject. It's got a four pound trigger. Not a bad trigger on it, reset. I can't see anything real bad about it. We've got the sights adjusted way up because it was shooting way low. We're still having a few issues on that, but. That just uh, could be the loads we're using. Whatever. I think I said the universal uh, rail on it. Nice looking pistol. It really is. It's a competition model. Also comes in 45 ACP. It is what it is, you know, it's an H&K. I mean, it sets out there pretty nice. Got no complaints about that. But there you go. HK USP export. Expert, not export. Well, it's probably exported too. <laughs> Imported. It's from Germany. The mag even says on made in Germany. The mags are. I, I assume HKs are all made in Germany. Yep, made in Germany. But all in all, it's a pretty nice handgun. I wouldn't mind owning it. I wouldn't pay what you got to pay for them, but it'd be a nice little gun to have around. It's got a fairly nice uh, slide on it, kind of jerky-like, but all in all, like I said, the slide feels a little jerky, but I would imagine that's because of the O-ring in there. So it'll give it a nice tight fit, is why it probably feels that way. 
and it is also the safety is also a decocker so it's one of them decocker safety things which I do not like personally I mean if you want to carry it around double action that's cool but I just don't care for them it's a pretty nice gun if you enjoy videos like this hit that like subscribe and bell notification of course appreciate a share and comments always welcome Thanks for watching. God bless America and Armed Forces, past and present.